Hi everyone, this is Balash from Racing Brick. Today I'm showing you the details of the latest LEGO art set. This is the 31212 Milky Way. As you can see on the box, this set is a little different from the known art releases. Although, if you haven't been following the team lately, you will be surprised. The last few releases weren't the simple mosaics you may remember from 2-3 years ago. The Great Wave already had plates and some 3-dimensional structures. The Amazing Spider-Man was definitely a 3D build. Then the modern art and the parrots, those aren't mosaics anymore. If you look at the Milky Way from this perspective, it can be seen as a step back to the mosaic roots, but with an obvious twist, lots of different random LEGO elements are used here. There's some detail on the back of the box, a soundtrack is also included, and apparently the set offers the opportunity to build it together with others. Let's see what's inside. The build has 3091 pieces, the price is 200 euros or dollars, and it will be available to LEGO insiders from the 15th of May. If you haven't registered yet, you should definitely do so, it's completely free. You can use the links in the description or in the pinned comment to see the product page with all local prices. We get a big pile of colorful bags in the box, and another white cardboard box with even more bags. There are 31 numbered bags in total, and an envelope with the manuals. This is quite unusual as we get 6 separate manuals, 1 for the frame and 5 for each segment of the build. In the first manual you will find information about the set and the QR code for the soundtrack. The link on the QR code leads to this page. I was surprised to see that the podcast is already online before the release, you can listen to it. Most of it is a discussion about space, these are the titles, and the last part is an interview with the designer. So, we have 6 manuals, you can get 5 other people to build with you. Well, one will have a quick and easy job with the frame that can be considered lucky or unlucky. Here is the frame build, it was pretty quick and straightforward, and you can already see the dimensions of the build. As for the rest, the process is not complicated either. We have the usual black mosaic bases, and then you add pieces, mostly row by row. There are certain elements that are placed on top of already built sections, as you can see here, so you have to pay attention, but otherwise you just keep adding seemingly random LEGO pieces until you're done. The segments are attached to each other with these Technic pins. Once three panels are done, we can put the first segment into the frame, push it down so the studs on the sides are connected, and then use the black two module long cross axles to attach the panels to the frame. And then we repeat this again and again, Here's the second module, attach it in place, fix it with the cross axles, that's it. Here's an interesting little mystery, I had this part in one of the first bags, I'm not sure which one. It doesn't belong anywhere, at least I couldn't find it. We also have the regular brick separator in the set, and here are the usual instructions on how to use it. I think this piece was added to make it easier to remove the smaller tiles and pieces, although where this one works, so does the brick separator or maybe it's here to remove the cross axles. If you have any idea or found something I missed in the manuals, please let me know. And yes, you keep repeating these steps and then the whole thing is done. The last element you need to add is this printed tile that marks the position of our little planet, we are here. So here's the final result and I have to say it looks much better than I expected. If you look closely you can see lots of little details, but I think you need some distance to really appreciate the beauty of the galaxy, it's definitely a very nice piece of art for any room. It has double hangers on the back by default, so you will need a bit of planning to hang it on the wall, although I think you could rebuild it with a single central hanger piece. So what interesting details are there to discover? The easiest thing to find here is the Gaia Space Telescope, which was launched by the European Space Agency in 2013. It uses only a few parts, and the position is obviously wrong. In reality, the telescope is located in the solar system, not very far from Earth. This piece of ice cream represents the TRAPPIST-1 system, the largest known batch of potentially habitable Earth-sized exoplanets, 40 light years away from us. Then there are the Pleiades, the nearest open star cluster at a distance of around 444 light years from us. This tiny upside down crab piece represents the Crab Nebula, a supernova remnant in the constellation Taurus. Here is a great part choice, the purple flame represents the Pillars of Creation, one of the most famous images of interstellar gas and dust taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Hidden in this region of the galaxy is also a small alien that has to travel a long way to visit us. There are 18 glitter transpurple 2x2 dishes scattered outside the galaxy, representing globular clusters. The part is not new in this color, but we get the highest number of them in a single set this time. 
And besides these, we have tons of seemingly random parts, binoculars, whisks, helmets, flowers, fruits. You can really spend a lot of time looking at the parts on their own. For some reason, I thought we would have more glow-in-the-dark pieces in the set, but it's just this crown piece that represents our solar system. It would have been a nice addition to include more pieces like this. Now comes the tough question. Is this set worth 200 euros or dollars? What building experience and end result does it offer for that price? I think the building experience is similar to the earlier mosaic-style art sets, although it's less monotonous and requires a bit more attention. It's still not the usual LEGO building experience though, especially if you are used to Technic sets for example, so it might not be your thing. But I can well understand why some people find it relaxing and entertaining. I think the end result is impressive, it's something unusual and looks really cool as a piece of art. The gribbling effect offers a new wow factor according to the designer. They also considered a more traditional mosaic approach, but decided on this version and I think it was a good choice. So, should you pay this price for it? I would say not necessarily. That's LEGO's recommended retail price, but I'm assuming the set will launch at a 20% discount at other retailers, at least in Europe. The future depends on its success and demand, but as a fairly niche product, there could be even bigger discounts towards the end of the year. For 30-40% less, I think it will be a pretty good deal, even as a parts pack, if you are into trans purple stuff of course. One thing is for sure, you will need a well-adjusted air compressor to keep this thing dust-free without losing a lot of parts when cleaning. Please let me know folks what you think of this set, if you like it, if you will buy it, let's talk about it in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications as there will be more exciting LEGO videos coming soon. See you next time, bye bye.